in this lecture i am going to start new topic of the computer edit process synthesis so let's start chapter name is synthesis of heat exchanger network topic is prediction of cold and hot utility demand before that you should know what is the meaning of cold utility and hot utility so this these are nothing but extra amount of energy extra amount of heat being provided in the process industries so i told you in last lecture what is the meaning of process integration we have used here process integration or energy integration or heat integration of various process streams to minimize the energy consumptions in process industries so in this lecture i will explain you how to find extra utility demands those are cold or hot utilities so you can see on the screen for that i will consider two stream data two stream data means first stream is nothing but your hot stream and second stream is nothing but your cold stream so for that you can see on the screen supply temperature for hot stream is 210 degree celsius and for cold stream is 90 degree celsius after that target temperature for hot stream is nothing but 50 degree celsius and for cold stream is 160 degree celsius after that specific heat for hot stream is nothing but 1.5 and for cold stream that is the 3 and lastly there is the delta h value this is nothing but enthalpy change and enthalpy change is nothing but minus 240 for hot stream and for cold stream that is 210 so why there is the negative sign in front of the enthalpy for hot stream and that is not in front of the enthalpy for the cold stream because we are removing excess amount of heat from the hot stream by using cold stream so whenever there is the hot stream is available in that data you will have this minus sign in front of the enthalpy so this minus sign indicates you can see see on the screen negative sign indicates that the stream is supplying heat this question can be asked in our viva that this negative sign indicates what and why they are, that is not available in front of uh, for the cold stream so answer is this we are removing heat from the hot stream by using cold stream and this is nothing but this indicates the stream is supplying heat that is nothing but hot stream so you can see on the screen prediction of hot and cold utility demand so how to predict this so for that you should have knowledge of th diagram i told you in last lecture what is the meaning of th diagram th diagram it is nothing but such a diagram in which on y axis we are showing temperature values and on x axis we are showing enthalpy values so you can see this is nothing but th diagram and this is the data which we have seen in previous slide uh, already we have seen in pre uh, previous slide that temperature values are nothing but 210 160 90 and 50 after that h corresponding h you can see here 50 100 150 200 250 this data can be calculated manu manually by using mcp delta t so h is nothing but mcp delta t so delta t is nothing but driving force for the heat transfer if this delta t is equal to 0 that is nothing but delta t minimum is 0 heat transfer will be zero i will show that value that graph as well in next slide as well but before that you can see on the screen this is the diagram for the th diagram you can see on the y axis there is the t values and on x axis h values and there are two streams are available first one is the hot stream which is shown by the red line and the green line is nothing but your cold stream so i have already shown you what data for this for hot stream you can see supply temperature is 210 and target temperature is 50 degree celsius and for cold stream 90 and 160 you can see just observe here that is nothing but 210 is the supply temperature for hot stream and that stream coming down to the 50 degree celsius means supply temperature is temperature is 210 and target temperature is 50 degree celsius similarly you can see just observe that green line means that coming from the 90 degree celsius to 160 degree celsius but above line that is nothing but a red line that coming from the 210 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius means what what is the meaning of this that red line is downward coming downward and green line is going upward because we are removing heat we are reducing the temperature of the hot stream from 210 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius and we are increasing the temperature we are adding heat to the cold stream that's why you can see on the screen cold stream is upward from the 90 degree celsius to the 160 degree celsius so this is the meaning of this th diagram now we will see effect of delta t minimum on hot and cold utility demand so you can see on the screen this is a figure for th diagram t Are nothing but temperature which we have plotted on the y-axis. 
which is nothing but enthalpy values which are plotted on the x axis. So, you can see in this figure there are two lines, first one is the red line and second one is the green line. Red line is nothing but hot steam and this green line is nothing but cold steam. In process industries like this various streams are available, all these streams can be plotted in TH diagram. Similarly, we can also draw here H2 stream, H3 stream that is nothing but hot streams and C1, C2, C3 up to the CN streams these are nothing but cold streams. So, how to draw this diagram I told you in last lecture as well by using MCP delta you can calculate here enthalpy values just plot T values against the H values you will get such a type of graph. In your exam this theoretical question can be asked for 7 marks just find out the cold means just explain how to find how to show this TH diagram notice the effect of delta T minimum over this diagram. So, you can see here now we will see here effect of delta T minimum. So, first stream is nothing but your hot stream and second one is the that is cold stream. If I move this or shift this cold streams towards the hot stream listen carefully if I shift this cold stream towards the hot stream at that time you can see delta T minimum value reduces. But if I shift this cold line away from this hot stream then at that time delta T minimum value increases. I told you for heat transfer delta T is the driving force means delta T should be higher to get the higher heat transfer rates. So, you can see here delta T minimum is equal to 0 means there is a no heat transfer and this point is nothing but pinch point. So, you can see here when cold one stream is shifted horizontally towards the hot one stream at that time I can say it touches the hot one stream at position A and at that time delta T minimum is equal to 0. In previous slide I have shown you that you can see this red line and this cold line means hot stream and cold stream having some difference here. This difference is nothing but delta T minimum. If this cold stream is moved towards this hot stream at that time I can say there is no delta T minimum or delta T minimum value reduces. If I, I am moving towards the hot stream at that time this value reduces but if I am moving this cold stream away from the hot stream at that time delta T minimum value increases. At the same time I can say if delta T minimum increases so heat transfer rate also increases. So, just observe this figure and now observe this figure you can see here. This cold line coincide with this red line means hot steam and at this point delta T minimum is equal to 0 this point is nothing but your pinch point. So, you can see here now we will see here at this point heat transfer rate is equal to 0, but you can see here this red line is extra part means this is the interval for the cold stream this to this, this point to this point this is nothing but interval for the cold stream and this is nothing but interval for the hot stream. So, this red line here in the bottom section this is the extra part. So, to extract heat from this extra part I will require extra amount of the cold utility because cold utility cold steam is not available in this section. I told you in heat exchanger we can use heat exchanger to exchange heat between the cold steam and hot steam means here you can see I can extract heat from this hot steam to cold steam only in this area this to this beyond this there is no cold steam available and beyond this there is no hot steam available. So, you can see here this is the extra part of the hot steam to remove the excess amount of heat I will require extra cold utility. So, that is nothing but cold utility and this value is nothing but 60 kilowatt. Similarly, you can see here this is the extra part of the cold steam. If you want to heat this extra part of the cold steam you will require extra amount of the heat utility because this utility steam this util hot steam is not available here. So, to for that extra utility is available that is nothing but HU and the value is 30 kilowatt. This value can be changed if I move this cold steam away from this hot steam this value will be increased you can see here just imagine if I am shifting horizontally and horizontally shifting is possible only not vertically shifting I have already explained this concept in previous lecture as well ok. So, I am shifting this cold steam horizontally here if you are shifting this horizontally you can see here delta H means nothing but HU hot utility value also increases. I will show this variation in the next slide you can see here. So, this is the extra amount of the hot utility and for the that purpose you use nothing but 60 kilowatt and for this purpose HU is nothing but 30 kilowatt. Now, you can just observe 
by moving this hot steam and cold steam away from each other means hot steam is available here and moving this cold steam away from this hot steam so you can see here if i am moving away from this hot steam so delta t minimum increases if delta t minimum value increases at that time i can say delta h also increases because you can see if you are moving away means this hu is increases and similarly cu also increases in previous slide this cu is nothing but around 60 kilowatt and this hu is nothing but 30 kilowatt so this 30 increases to the 45 kilowatt and this 60 increases to the 75 kilowatt so i can say here to make why we are moving this because in previous slide there there was the pinch point at pinch point no heat transfer is possible so to make heat transfer possible you can see here now to make the heat transfer feasible or possible the cold steam is a shifted parallel to the new position b where vertical distance between the supply temperature and line representing representing hot one steam becomes 10 degree celsius this value can be increased if you are moving away from the hot steam this can be 20 degree celsius this can be 30 degree celsius that is depend how you are moving this cold steam from the hot steam so here we are having 10 degree celsius is the delta t minimum and this is nothing but driving force for the heat transfer and this distance is called delta t minimum so i can say here you can say here this extra hot utility required the extra amount of the cold utility that is nothing but 75 kilowatt and here you can see extra amount of the heat utility required to heat up this extra amount of this cold steam so in this manner we can calculate from this th diagram extra amount of the utility requirement in a process industries so just i am concluding what we have seen in this diagram now if you want to increase the heat transfer rate delta t minimum should be higher if delta t minimum is equal to zero heat transfer is zero and if we are moving away from the hot steam at that time heat utility value increases and cold utility value also increases so means if you are increasing the delta t minimum so h values also increases this is nothing but conclusion of this diagram so what we have seen in this lecture i have told you related to the th diagram after that we have considered here two steam data that is nothing but cold steam and hot steam where we are having supply temperature and target temperature after that i told you how to draw these two lines means hot steam and cold steam in th diagram after that we have seen here effect of delta t minimum on the th diagram means if we are moving away from the hot steam at that time delta t minimum is increases and heat transfer it also increases and ultimately this extra utility that is nothing but heat utility and cold utility values also increases if we are moving away from the hot steam and if we are moving towards the hot steam this values heat utility and cold utility means decreases and if delta t minimum is equal to zero that point is nothing but pinch point at that point there is no heat transfer so this is all about this lecture we will see next topic in the next lecture thank you very much